life goes on And so do we Just how we do it is no mystery One by one We fill the days We find a thousand different ways Sometimes the answer can be hard to find That's something I will never be I'm always here for anything that you need Rain or shine, I'll be the one To share it all as life goes on We share it all as life goes on Bottom of the ninth, two out, runners on first and second. Here's the pitch. <laughs> oh, it's a long ball in center field. Dreyfus goes back, back, plays it off the couch, run around in third. Here's the throw. Here he is, and he's out. Oh, great, great play. Hit the showers. Oh, oh, oh. Good morning. Good morning, babe. These are for you. You bought me pots. <laughs> I bought you pots that aren't aluminum. Aluminum pots can cause brain damage. If they fall on your head, maybe. There. You're all set. You can cook safely. I don't cook. You never cook? Never. At most, I heat up. You mean you haven't made a meal since Mom died? No. How do you eat? I eat mostly takeout, you know, ribs, Chinese, pizza, and if I get real ambitious, I make myself a TV dinner. But then I feel obligated to watch TV. I had no idea you were eating like this. And you're a doctor. We're human. We like crap. I'm cooking you dinner. What are you talking about? Don't you have a date, baby? You told me you were going out with somebody. We went. It's over. What happened? What happened? He dumped me. I picked them. Find me a guy who spits at me, I'm his. Anyway, he was a jerk. He was a trainer. You dated an animal trainer? He trains people. To do what? To exercise. Who needs a trainer to exercise? What's the train? You put on a jock strap and you run. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. When did you get back? I tried calling you this morning. I just got in. Where'd you go? To meet his parents. Oh, I knew it. The minute I saw this guy, I knew it. What guy? I fixed her up a couple of months ago with a doctor. I date a trainer and you fix her up with a doctor? Why did you fix him up with her and not with me? I don't know. It was just a feeling, dear. He seemed more like a Barbara kind of a guy than a Carol kind of a guy. And what exactly is a Barbara kind of a guy? I, I don't know, dear. I'm up, uh, cheery, happy. And what do you fix me up with, a coroner? What? <laughs> Please, come on, so what happened? The, this is serious, right? We got serious here. He asked me to marry him. <laughs> yeah, marry, marry. I am so happy. I am so happy. Will you? I am so happy. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. I can only stay a little while. <laughs> he proposed. The doctor proposed. You gonna marry him? Maybe. Maybe? Well, I'm not totally sure. Totally sure? Nothing's totally sure. Are you mostly sure? Uh, mostly. Mostly sure is sure. I guess. Oh, oh, oh baby, how oh, wonderful. I'm gonna call and tell your baby sister. <laughs> Some kind of irony here. Your sister gets doctors and you get dumped by a trainer. And what in the world makes you think I was dumped by a trainer? He's my trainer. <laughs> he dumped you for this girl I know. <laughs> and you should see this girl. You better get yourself a trainer. So when is this wedding? Probably not to the middle of next month. Probably a Saturday afternoon. Oh, no. I hate afternoon weddings. You have it during the day, and then, well, what do I do at night? Do what you always do. Drink too much, get loud, vomit, and hit on all the married women. <laughs> oh, yeah! 
no 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 this no. is the flu season. You cannot take an hour and a half lunch during the flu season. Reverend, I would like you to meet my future son-in-law, Dr. Brent Wolcott. Which one's he marrying? Barbara. Uh, how do you do? Hi. You gotta go now. I'll, uh, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, right. Room one, a monkey bite. Room two, a screamer. Uh, I am so happy. I am so happy I cannot tell you. Did you see him? Did you see? A doctor, a nice doctor. Doesn't wear bracelets, isn't incorporated. Just a nice, wonderful doctor. She couldn't have ended up with a more terrific guy. Unless, of course, she married me. Which is a very sick thought. Not where I come from. You people, you really, uh... Oh, it's a very small place. <laughs> Surrounded by mountains, the roads are either closed by snow or mud, so what are you gonna do? <laughs> Enough hooch, everybody looks the same. <laughs> of course, everybody really does look the same. We're all related. <laughs> Room one, now! <laughs> I don't know why we need a tent. We have a very nice yard. Rain. Aha. Okay, napkins. We need them, I guess. Otherwise, I'd use my sleeve. What do you want the napkins to say? Talking napkins? <laughs> Printed. Let's keep this simple, okay? So far, we have a tent, we have flowers, and we have napkins. Now, what's next? Matchbooks. No, this is absurd. This is not what I want. I want to throw a few hot dogs on a barbecue and call it a day. How many at a table? No tables. Oh, drive through? <laughs> I don't want to do this, Dad. Oh, come on, honey, come on. Now. I want something simple. Oh, I mean, okay, it's too. It's your wedding. Now you're disappointed. No, no. <laughs> sure? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. Now. Maybe a little, you know. <laughs> just, just, just a little. It's natural, you know, a tiny bit. It's nothing. Well, I don't mean it's nothing. It actually is really quite something, but, it, you know, it's not much. I'm, I'm, you know, moderately disappointed. Big deal. So what? I'm disappointed? I can live with that, please. It's, it's crushed. I can't live with <laughs> and I'm, I'm crushed, dear. I'm sorry. I am. I'm just crushed. My mother and I had to get married in City Hall because we couldn't afford anything else. Carol eloped. We never had a real party here. Except for Carol's divorce. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just that this would have been a wedding, you know, for the whole family. Your mother would have loved it, and they would just thrill me to do it. That's all. Go ahead. Okay. Are you, are you sure? Yes. All right, I'm not talking you into this. No. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. You won't regret it. Okay. <clears throat> We've got 200 people. What are we serving? I don't know 200 people. <laughs> you know 100. His family is the other 100. Who are all these people? Mostly cops, people I work with. Well, that makes it simple. We know what to serve. Coffee and glazed donuts. <laughs> it's funny. We'll serve chicken. A lot of people don't like to eat meat. OK, 200 people, we need 100 chickens. We have four burners. How do we do this? <laughs> Caterers. Ah, right, of course. Now, we have to board Dreyfus. <laughs> no way. Fine. Dreyfus stays. <laughs> It'll be nice. You get all dressed up and a dog sniffs your crotch. <laughs> He's part of the family, Carol. He's staying. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. He can be the ring bearer. Dreyfus, here, shake. See that? Now we just got to tape the ring to his paw. <laughs> you open the door without looking? Are you crazy? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I thought you were someone else. At 2 o'clock in the morning? Barbara, why are you here? I have to talk to you. This is a nice place. I've never been here. I've lived here for three years. You've never invited me. You don't have to invite family. 
family comes, generally with a hanging plant and a decent Chardonnay. <laughs> so who's the guy? What guy? The guy that you were going to open the door for at 2 o'clock in the morning. You don't know him. Barbara, what do you want to talk to me about? My situation. You always let a guy come over so late? I'm sorry, but the night before my sister marries a doctor, I don't feel like sleeping alone. I can't marry him. That's it. I can't marry him. That's... That's it. So, so I've told you. Now what am I going to do? Did you tell Daddy? Are you kidding? You're the only one who knows. But you never tell me anything. You haven't told me one single thing since 1978. All of a sudden, I'm your best friend? I couldn't trust you before. You used to listen in on my phone calls. Maybe that's because every time I picked up the phone, you were on it. I can't help it if I was popular. And I wasn't. Maybe not as much. Maybe I didn't put out. Are you saying I did? I didn't. That's not what I heard. Yeah, right. I can't believe we're arguing like this. Story of our lives. Really? Why? Well, all I know is I was perfectly happy for the first four and a half years of my life when all of a sudden this baby showed up. And from then on, all I ever heard were two words, adorable and Barbara. That's it. It's the truth. You were born, my life was over. They forgot about me. Sometimes there wasn't even a place set at dinner. <laughs> and all I ever heard was, isn't Carol smart? Have you seen Carol's report card? She is just so smart, she's an Einstein. They said I was smart? I never heard that. I never heard smart. They said brilliant. Carol, adorable doesn't last. Brilliant does. I mean, you can be brilliant at 70. You cannot be adorable. At 70, I won't be able to find my house. I'll take adorable till 40, then a quick death. I'd give anything to be smart. You are smart. Smart is knowing you're marrying the wrong guy before, not when you walk into his office and find he and his secretary naked on the couch. You didn't. And he raised himself up on one elbow and said, this is not what you think. And I believed him. That's not smart. Oh, God. So, my adorable sister, what's the story? I don't want to marry him. You realize this is the night before. Everyone gets nervous the night before. It's not that. I wish it was. Oh, Daddy's so excited. You know, I started dating him because of Daddy. And then tonight I realized that I'm marrying him because of Daddy, because Daddy's so happy. And I love seeing Daddy happy. Barbara, that is not the reason to marry him, to make Daddy happy. You marry him because it's right and because you love him. What are you going to do? I don't know. This is not like breaking a date. This is big. I mean, we're talking about a wedding. I know. We're talking about a man's life. We're talking about 200 shrimp cocktails. <laughs> You're not making this any easier. I'm sorry. I want that special thing that mom and dad had. I mean, even at their worst times, they never questioned their relationship. That's what I want. It's tough to get by tomorrow. Oh, Laverne, you're not dressed. Is it the wrong day? 200 chickens and it's the wrong day. It's today. It's today. Take it easy. It's not for six hours yet. Oh, six hours. Six hours? We'll never be ready. Where is the food? Where are the caterers? Outside in the cooking tent. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the cooking tent, of course. Oh, Laverne, thank you so much for coming over and helping out. I don't know what I would do without you. Now, are you sure you want to eat breakfast dressed like this, or do you have many of these outfits? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not eating breakfast. I'm, I'm just too nervous. Why did I order chicken? Everybody saw that 60-minute show on chicken. They'll never eat it. I'm not going to eat it. 
Actually, it's not chicken, it's rock Cornish game hens. Same thing. Completely different. A swan is completely different. Those are midget chickens. <laughs> oh, look who's here. The bride. The beautiful, beautiful bride. And what am I, a cow pie? <laughs> oh, look who's here. The bride's beautiful sister. Oh, boy. So, how'd you sleep? Tell him. I can't. Oh, well, you know, it's an easy one. You slept well or you didn't. Go on. Forget it. This is not so important. I can't marry Brent, Daddy. You know, this, this is a question that people always ask, and, and they don't really give a damn about the answer. You mean, uh, did you sleep well? If the answer is yes, so what? If it's no, what the hell are you going to do about it now? It's, it's already morning, you know? Did you hear what she said? You know, the, the, the sleeping question is very much like the how are you question. Nobody really cares what the answer is. She said she can't marry me. Brent. Of course, because I am a doctor and I have to ask people how they are. And occasionally it occurs to me now, I have to ask them you know, how they slept. Now, no one at any time this morning said anything about not getting married, did they? I don't want to marry him, Daddy. Of course you do. He's a doctor. So what? She doesn't have gallstones. <laughs> and what makes you think doctors are so great anyway? We are. Everyone knows that. <laughs> we have a tent. You see, we have, we have 200 people coming. We have appetizers. We have a band. What are we supposed to do? Oh, a tent. I forgot about the tent. Then, of course, I think she should marry him. <laughs> there you go. Daddy, <laughs> I want a marriage like you and Mom had. I want to look the way you did when Mom walked into a room. And I don't have to see my face to know I've never looked like that. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I am not disappointed. I am happy. I am happy your mother and I raised such a smart girl. Great. Adorable and smart. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down? There's a terrific young man who's going to walk through that door any minute now to find out the life he thought he had. He doesn't. It's him. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, it's him. It's him. It's him. <laughs> You want to come in? Yeah, man. Sure. <laughs> oh, I took a look out back. Everything looks great. Well, you know, it's not so great. The tent leaks. Barbara! And uh, we, have, we, have, we have chicken. People hate chicken. Barbara! And the helium balloons are ridiculous. And if you ask me, this whole wedding is third rate. Barbara! <laughs> Here's Barbara. Barbara. Here, Barbara, Ben, Brent, Barbara. We've met. Yeah, I'm not supposed to see you before the wedding. It's uh, bad luck. There you have it. <laughs> I can't do it. What? I can't marry you. <laughs> You're making a joke, right? Yeah, she's making a joke. I, I wish. Now, wait a sec. What? Well, you, you're calling the wedding off. Now. I'm sorry. Well, Harry, um, what happened? It's not right. I mean, you're a wonderful person, and, and, and I love being with you. And we have a great friendship. You make me laugh, and I can talk to you. Then marry him, for God's sake. Are you supposed to be helping me? <laughs> the magic isn't there. Magic. Magic is for adolescents. Magic doesn't last. Am I right, Harry? I had magic for 30 years. Well, uh, gee, I'd like to say that I, I feel good about this, but um, 
<laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I don't even feel um, sportsmanlike about it. I, I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, I feel like crap. Well, you're taking it beautifully. <laughs> well, one thing, one thing I guess is better now than later. Much. I mean, later would get very complicated. We'd have, a, we'd have a house, and we'd have, we'd have cars and, and kids. I mean, how do, you, how do you split that? You know. Right. A boat. We'd have a boat. <laughs> and a weekend place in the Keys. No, not the keys, in the Bahamas. Are you listening to this? <laughs> it could have been a, a mess. Yes. Well, uh, I guess I, I better go tell the family. I think they're still back at the, uh, the uh, hotel. Listen. Yeah. Take some chicken. <laughs> I'll see you. I'm really sorry, Brent. Oh, you're an idiot. The man's a prince. Someone else's prince. Done? Done. We better start making phone calls, unless you want to have a sit-down dinner for 100 cops. <laughs> phone calls. <laughs> Carol, do you have uh, plans for the weekend? No, why? Brent is single. 